How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to reset your iPhone 6S back to factory settings. And to do this, uh, you're going to go to your settings app. Now, just to, before I go into everything, the reason you would do this is a couple of reasons. One is you're either selling your iPhone, you're giving it, like maybe trading it in the store for a different one or returning it. Whatever you're doing, if this iPhone is no longer going to be in your possession, you do want to factory reset it to make sure that none of your personal information is leaked to the next person that it goes to. Um, you also want to make sure that before you do that, you back up your information to iCloud so, so, so that you don't lose any important information. So we're in the settings and the first thing we want to do is go to iCloud we'll go there and we want to come down to where it says backup, which is right here. And it says on, but we're just going to tap on backup. And you have an option right here that says, hey, backup now. And normally under it, it says last backup. And this says uh, never because I haven't backed up on this phone. But if you tap backup now first, it will back up your data to make sure you don't lose anything important. Now, it's also important to note that on this screen, this is actually what shows what gets backed up. So iCloud Drive, Photos, Mail, Contacts, Calendar, Reminders, Safari, Notes, News. So make sure everything you want to have backed up is checked in green because if it's not in green it's not going to be backed up so just important thing to note um, after you've done that we're going to scroll down here and we're going to go to general so go back up actually and go to general go all the way to the bottom where it says reset and then we're going to come to erase all content and settings so tap on there and it's going to say, hey, erase iPhone. Yeah, erase iPhone. And then it's going to ask you to put in your Apple ID password. So I'm going to pull it away here and put that information in. Now, if you have a passcode on your phone, this is also where it will ask you to enter that passcode as well before it proceeds. So I'm going to hit erase. And if it shakes, it means password is wrong. So let me make sure I put it in properly. If not, it's just gonna keep shaking. We're not gonna get anywhere. And almost done. All right, password is in. Erase. And that is it. You'll see the Apple symbol. The phone's gonna reset. And the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna erase all your information off of the phone. The second thing it'll do is it'll uh, set it up like it was when you first purchased it. And now your phone is ready for you to pass it on to the next owner safely without you losing any of your important information. So um, this is pretty much it guys. And this process can take anywhere from 30, probably about two minutes to about 10 minutes. It depends on how much information you have on the phone, how much music, picture is, whatever. So it does take time if you, getting past 30 minutes and your phone still isn't like saying hello in another language then uh, there might be a problem you may want to take it to an apple store but anyway hope again this video was helpful make sure you like favorite and share it if it was helpful make sure you also subscribe to h2 tech videos and have a good one